Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com. Today I'd like to talk about the auto brightness feature on the iPhone 5 or iOS 6, however you'd like to call it. A lot of people have been saying that it doesn't work and that it's broken and I've even had some of my own problems, but it's actually not broken. It just takes a little bit of a learning curve to figure out how it works and I'm going to show you that today. So I hope this helps and enjoy. Okay, so here we are taking a look at my iPhone, and I'm in the settings, and let me go ahead and let me turn it back on now. I'm in the settings, and I'm in the brightness and wallpaper settings from your, your main settings screen. I'm right in here, and you'll notice that I have this auto brightness feature turned on right now, and you'll see that my slider up here is way towards the left. Now on iOS 5 and previous iOSs, uh, you could turn auto brightness on, and you could move the slider and then directly after you moved the slider the operating system would automatically adjust the slider to wherever it thinks the right position was depending on the ambient light in the room. Well iOS 6 works a little bit differently. You get to set the benchmark so what you need to do is you need to turn auto brightness on and then whatever room you're in with the lighting the way it is set this brightness meter to however you want it. So if you want it really bright go ahead and set it really bright for whatever room you're in. If you want it really dark, like I'm, I'm in a pretty bright room right now, uh, but I still don't mind it being a little bit dark because I know it's gonna save a lot of my battery. So I might turn it way down. And now what'll happen is when I go to a different light setting, it will automatically adjust based on where I set it. So if I go to a much brighter location, it's gonna get a little bit brighter from this point right here. If I go to a darker room, it might get a little bit darker from this point right here but it all depends on where I set it up to begin with. So you really get a lot more customization with this and for those of you that do like to conserve your battery this is a great opportunity to do that because you can be in a really really bright location and you can set your brightness down as far as basically as far as you want as long as you can still see your phone and then your phone will adjust based on how you set it. Uh, so you don't have to go with the default settings that come with the other operating systems for the iPhone and iPad. Uh, you get to customize it. So go ahead and try it out. Uh, you'll see that it does work. You just need to set it where you want it to be first. And then as you're going to different environments with different lighting, you might want to fine tune it a little bit and that's okay. But just know that it's not going to automatically adjust when you set it. When you set it, you're telling Apple, you're telling your phone that I like this brightness level in this type of light right here. So when I go to either a brighter or a less bright location, go ahead and adjust it from my benchmark. So that's the difference between iOS 6 and the other iOS is the auto brightness feature is not broken. It's just a little bit different and it definitely gives the user a little bit more opportunity to customize their phone. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more technology tutorials, tips, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.